Okay, we have just left Steve Jobs Theater at yet another iPhone event. The big news is four new iPhone 14s. There are two standard iPhones, but with a slightly larger size this time. There's an iPhone 14 Plus with 6.7 inches, also two Pro models. And with these Pro models, the really big standout feature here is an advanced camera. Now, this has a 48 megapixel sensor. This is up from 12 megapixels from the previous model. Also, it has something called quad pixel technology. The long and short of it is you have a much higher resolution, more detailed photos, better low light performance, and really some fantastic color uh, reproduction as well. Another great feature about the iPhone 14 Pros is an advanced screen. This one's twice as bright as the last one. We're seeing these OLED screens also having a higher peak brightness of 2000 nits. They're really fantastic now because they can do an always on display type of thing. What that means is your lock screen can stay on all the time, giving you interesting information when you want it. And lastly, we're also seeing new crash detection. This is made possible because the phone's accelerometer, its barometric sensor, and its speakers are all used in a fusion sensor method, which enables the phone to detect if you've been in an accident. So it can hear it, it can tell that the airbag's gone off with the barometric pressure sensor, and it can also uh, detect the Gs, or the G-forces that you're under. What it'll do is it will actually call uh, emergency services, it will notify your contacts and your location, so it can really help you out and keep you safe. So the cheapest iPhone 14 starts at $13.99 in Australia, and the most expensive iPhone, iPhone 14 Pro tops out at $18.99. So we saw three new Apple Watch 8 models. There's a standard Apple Watch 8 plus a new lower cost SE edition. And most excitingly, there's the new Apple Watch 8 Ultra. So this is a ruggedized, beefier, heavy duty Apple Watch for adventurers, uh, explorers, and pretty much elite athletes. It has an amazingly large screen. It has larger speakers so you can hear sounds better. It has dual GPS so it can be more precise in terms of location. It can go down underwater far further than existing Apple Watches. So there's all kinds of technology in there to really make it great for those really athletic outdoor types. So Apple Watch 8 also features a new temperature sensor. So what this does is it measures your temperature and figures out a baseline and then it will report on whether you're above that temperature. And this could um, mean things like you're jet lagged, you haven't had enough sleep, you've had too much alcohol, or in the case of women's health, it can also indicate when you're um, ovulating. And this can be used for family planning and also to provide more information instead of using the traditional thermometer and notepad method. Last but not least, we see the new Apple AirPods Pro 2. So this is the first time they've been upgraded in three years, and they feature a new personalized spatial sound technology where you actually take a picture of your ear with your iPhone and your head shape, and it will customize the sound to deliver it better to give you a more immersive experience. Also, there's a new case that can be charged wirelessly, either using your Apple Watch charger or a MagSafe charger, and it has a built-in speaker that helps you locate it, and it also now appears independently of your earpod, earbuds on the Find My app making it easier to find if you lose it. So that's it here from Apple Park. Uh, we have seen some pretty amazing technology. Long and short of it is more technology that helps keep you safe and more focused on your health.